Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and it's our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 31st, 2021. Happy Memorial Day. Special love and blessings to everyone who has given up their lives for others' protection. And of course, for every one of you out there who currently serve in the military, my love to you as always. Thank you for your service. And of course, I pray that you will always be watched over and protected. Please call upon Archangel Michael to always watch over you. Now for this week, as we get into our messaging, there's a message here of a restful, spiritual kind of week where you're allowing things to just come up, messaging to come up. Even as I'm filming this, I have my frankincense resin back here going. You might hear that in the background. And I had to open uh, my balcony here so that I could get some fresh air because it just has that feeling. So you might hear some traffic out there too. <laughs> but I think it's more important to have the fresh air. I wanna hear the birds. Um, chirping it has that kind of feel so be taking care of that aspect of you that does not mean that you're not going to have things that you have to contend with or to deal with or what have you but there will be things coming up to challenge us to aggravate us to really uh, try to knock us off course we talk about that all the time and I want to share this with you these messages aren't just me sitting down in front of the camera and firing off based off of cards if you notice I come and I have this, uh, it's not necessarily a channeled message because I'm not going into a full channel or anything like that, but the messages do start to come through a few days ahead of time. And even to last night, as I was meditating, there was this feeling here that there are, I wanna be careful with how I put this because I don't wanna plant seeds of suggestion and I don't want to scare people, but there are energies that are at odds with one another, we know that. And there's a, another push to scramble us there's going to be more of that so how does this occur well this can occur by systems in place yes bureaucracy having some process and you show up and you follow the rules and then they come back and say no you didn't and you know it's a lie you know it I'm, I'm telling you make sure please make sure that if you have anything legal going on if you are dealing with government agencies um, or business contracts, anything of the sort, be tracking everything you do, okay? I made the phone call on this date at this time, this is what was said. If you or have a way of recording the phone call, you have to get the person's consent and let them know, you know, don't take, this is not legal advice whatsoever. I'm not qualified to give that, so check with a professional. But, you know, make sure you're keeping good notes at a minimum, okay? Again, check with a legal expert. If you do have to record a phone call, you have to disclose that, I believe. Um, so, you know, just all those things really not out of a paranoid place. Remember, we want you to just be in the soft focus of your spirituality, resting, taking care of yourself, listening to your bodies, but there will be this aggravating, uh, energy that is permeating. Okay. It always has been, but it's going to be amping up maybe this week and going forward. Why is that? There is a transformation that has been trying to take place for quite some time. And every time if you notice, we tend to start moving and then we hit a wall where people are trying to be um, like social narcissists and just trying to look like they're doing the right thing, but really they're judging everyone. Or, um, you know, people are getting up and saying, we're going to scream and holler about this and it backfires. And all that ends up happening is that people get hurt out of that, okay? So we wanna be careful with this. We wanna be careful in our reactions and our responses. I know, this might be for some of us, um, I, you know, I just wanna use the word aggravated. Like it's just kinda of aggravated. But if you're in tune with yourself, if you're doing your spiritual practices, whatever that is for you, okay? You will see it for what it is as this sort of uh, invading energy that has no power over you. And that's the important part. It has no power over you. Okay. So watch engaging in arguments. Watch trying to fight perspectives. Okay. Communication is going to be awful. I just tried to have a meeting yesterday and it was the biggest jumble I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, it's just wow. And then sitting there trying to talk to the person, like they clearly were not understanding what I was saying, you know. I didn't understand what they were getting at, the whole thing. So it was, you know, we're gonna have more of that coming up, you know, that's a Mercury retrograde thing. But this is also that, um, this thing of like persecution, 
and not taking it anymore. But before we go running, first of all, the solution is not to go running into it and screaming about it. We have to know what we're talking about before we open our mouths. Yes? So this is that, okay, I'm noticing what aggravates me. Well, I, I tend to, you know, get really hung up on an injustice. You know, I showed up and I did everything I needed to do and someone's not holding up their end of the deal. Or, you know, I find that I want to fight everybody all the time. Why is that? Maybe you feel powerless and so you feel like you're going to be trampled on if you don't fight all the time. You know, really understanding, not just like looking outside of you and going, here's what's wrong with the world and I'm going to put criticism on everything, but rather looking at you and saying, okay, what sets me off and why? That's going to be a deep processor right there. Now, at the end of that, you might say, no, there are systems in place that need to change. Okay, so there's some realization around that. This isn't just like a, a cut and dry, nice and neat little week here. From this day to this day, this is everything that happens and you don't have to worry about anything ever again. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be evolving and opening up and what have you. So this, if you can, um, let's use diplomacy. That is the buzzword, I would say. Be diplomatic in everything that you do. Okay, try to be kind. But be firm if you have somebody especially like a you know some organization that's sort of bullying you or whatever you know be very firm remember what i said make sure you're taking notes consult with a legal professional if you have to some of you are going to have to do that um or governing agencies so if there's like one agency that's not doing their job properly and they're causing um, a lot of problems for people and you know it's unethical you go and report it to the agency that they report to. It's that kind of thing. But again, be careful, Mercury retrograde, okay? Be careful. It's more about observing and again, just kind of figuring out what you want to do next. What's the right turn? Now, for some people, we are, there's, there's a whole lot of this just, um, I don't know what to call it. I always call it like the veil falling, the mask coming off. Yeah, there could be some of that. Um, but I think this is more... I just want to keep calling it self-revelation, where we see where we torture ourselves, where we self-sabotage. This could be people getting really in touch with, you know, taking care, better care of their bodies, um, making more time for spirituality. I'll tell you guys straight out. I mean, I have been researching. I'm in love with researching about Archangel Metatron. I, when I do get all that content out, please know that it was lovingly <laughs> put together. And I just want to make sure I, I catch all the beautiful little nuances and, you know, organize it. That way it's, you know, it has all the information, but it's very understandable as well. Okay. So I promise you, I keep saying this every week, but it's coming. I just want to take a lot of care with it. But uh, I, I love this idea of just kind of diving in and understanding the nature of this archangel and, um, you know, it, it, that brings me peace. But I have found that I kind of started getting wound up with work and, um, you know, there's been a lot of just paperwork stuff that I've had to get done and get organized. And I started getting all wound up in that. And I started to feel sick. I started to feel drained. Um, we had a very weird full moon lunar eclipse where I had some, you know, weird communications with people and everything just seems to get lost in translation. And <laughs> like, you know, it's bound to happen, but flow towards the thing that brings your heart peace. Again, for me, this is going to be getting back to studying uh, even more deeply about Archangel Metatron and really connecting with his energy. And I will be channeling information directly from that Archangel to bring into the video content. So all of that's going to be done. But, you know, that's what's going to bring me peace. So what will bring you peace? What can you do to take care of you? I'm choking a little bit because I have this resin burner, this frankincense going. Oh, so if it's smoky in here, that's what's happening. All right. <laughs> so there's that. Um, this is connecting with your, your spiritual team as well and getting to know your spiritual team on a deeper level. For some people who watch these videos, I, I think that that can be a brand new concept. Or maybe you like to listen to these videos, but you don't really... You know, maybe you don't think that pertains to you. You're just kind of trying to see. I, I don't know why this is coming out. So someone out there needs to hear this where it's like you don't really buy into this stuff, but you find it entertaining to listen to it. And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But why don't you give it a go? Why don't you try meditating this week and, you know, shield yourself? You don't want to just, 
I've had lots of people come to me and say, you know, this person, you know, this being is my guide and this being is my guide. And you tune in and here it's just some interloping soul from like the astral plane that's coming in and feeding off of them. So protect yourself. Again, Archangel Michael can help you do that. Archangel Metatron can help you do that. And, uh, you know, just put your heart at ease as much as you can, no matter what's going on outside of you. Okay, let's get on to the cards. Okay. See what we have going on here. I also wanted to mention that things being revealed, like disclosure kind of things, it's right here. We have gotten like that soft launch thing. Now I know everyone's like, disclosure, it's gonna be like this big event. It's already in front of us, in case you were wondering. Okay. But I do feel like maybe not this week, but in coming in coming weeks. Um, someone told me a date, and I was like, oh. I missed the memo on that. It was supposed to be a date <laughs> when all this was going to happen. But that's part of tuning in, tuning into the frequencies. And, and you'll be able to pick that up for yourself, messaging that you need to understand about how, what's going to be revealed that will change our evolution. It's all about the evolution, right? What will change that breaks open history? I just heard this too. Breaks open history. And so the way we understood it is not exactly how it went. Remember, history was written and recorded by people. So <laughs> there, I don't know what that's going to look like, but we'll have to see. So the first card, <laughs> the card I'm sitting here holding is a new start is coming, new moon. So right there, I mean, we're definitely having things be revealed to us, but they're being revealed through us. Yes, so I wouldn't necessarily, well, maybe there might be some song and dance around <laughs> revealing some truth or whatever, but more it's going to be like an instinct. Now, what not to do with this? We see this all the time. I see it in the comments sometimes. I mean, my audience is pretty awesome, so you guys don't do this too much, but there are sometimes people that come along and they're like, oh, I got a message about, you know, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, and it could be very valuable information but a lot of times it's just pertaining to that one person. And so because they, they feel it so strongly because it pertains to them, they think it's going to apply to everybody. Does that make sense? So that's where we say, be careful with, with what you listen to and what's coming out because sometimes people are taking what is their experience and only their experience and forgetting that, that it's not universal. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Okay, so a new start is coming. We have a new way of doing things. We're getting past a little bit of a tough period. Now here's the thing. It, it's the ending of a tough period, not because things settle down necessarily, but we are learning our power. We are learning now how to show up as true soul beings, spiritual beings, and not getting so wound up in these narratives that are there to scare us and to aggravate, get you all worried about it. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna cough again any minute. Now, I'm so glad I opened that window because <laughs> it needs to flow out. All right, so we have the promise of this new start coming, but we need to be ready for it. We need to be prepared in ourselves. And a lot of times we do neglect our physical body, you know, and we have to make sure we're managing our stress I'm trying to be better about cooking nice healthy meals for myself, you know, just stuff like that, making sure you get plenty of sleep. So don't make sure everything is nice and balanced, I think is what we're getting at for the new start. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Look at this new, new moon, new moon, and it's time. And bringing love into the situation has everything to do with, you know, dropping the judgments, dropping the criticisms, um, loving yourself. And that's what this week needs to be all about. Taking a moment uh, for yourself, each and every day not so that you can sit there and focus on all the bad things and go god please 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 fix my life please 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 you know you do the pleading and you rob yourself of your own power and if we bring love into the situation we start to have more compassion for ourselves for others um, this might be if you've been struggling with some childhood issues and you've just come at it with a lot of anger you start to forgive you start to release you stop trying to hang on and say, no, I have a right to be angry. You do, but what is that anger doing to you? Okay, it's time to process. And as always, as I say, you know, spirituality and, and these types of videos are not a replacement for therapy. If you need to help 
you know, treat the mental mind, the psychological self. There are earth angels put in place to help, okay? Just make sure you find the earth angels, <laughs> not just whoever slipped through the cracks and, you know, has no business helping other people, right? Oh, oh. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, so two cards came out together. We're going to go ahead and take these both. A fiery climax approaches. Again, something gets broken open. Full moon in Aries. And then we have emotions are running high. Super moon. So again, this is what we were saying about... Um, here, let me hold them up one at a time. So this is what we were saying about... Kind of tread lightly this week. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Don't push. Try not to get too aggravated, no matter how aggravating the situations might be. Because those are other energies coming in and trying to get you that way. Now, I was given an example about this meeting I had yesterday. And the person I was supposed to be meeting with, they were very aggravated. I was really aggravated. We kind of came there. We were nice to each other. But you could just feel that there was this weird push-pull and why aren't we understanding each other? Like the words you're saying make sense, but that's not what I was asking. And, you know, it was stuff like that which then led us into a scramble. And what happens as a result of that? There's this doubt that then comes up, right? And then you walk away feeling unsettled and it's kind of like, wait, did I, what, did I ask the right questions? Was I, was I not clear? You know, that starts to lower your frequency. And now whatever comes up, whatever fiery thing comes out, you're not gonna fight back. This is where we get lulled into that, <coughs> excuse me, that whole thing of um, it is what it is you can't fight it. Just let people do whatever. Watch people who are encouraging you to, like, we want to let go of things so we don't fall into a low frequency. But the people who consistently act like nothing is a big deal and they're not balanced in it, they're selling something. They have, I really do feel this. I feel like they have some sort of agenda. So people are telling you like, oh my gosh, here come all the people who want to complain about this, this, and you guys need to stop. You know, you'll just tune into your instincts. You'll know what I'm saying. Like sometimes it's authentic where people are kind of getting off the rails and just wanting to play victims and all that. But then there are other times where it's like, no, someone's actually trying to bring light to a situation and they're being told to be quiet. So there's going to be some element of that. If you listen, as I try to put these things into words, the better way probably to listen to this, yes, take in the words, but feel, feel it out. Are there visions coming up for you? Because you guys are sensitive. You know, you know what we're doing here, right? <laughs> so you might get a sensation, a feeling, and maybe it is about a personal situation in your life, but you also get a feel for the deeper message of what we're trying to get across here, okay? That maybe couldn't be put into words. So always listen with that kind of intention and that kind of expanded awareness. If you are nurturing that expanded awareness especially this week and going forward you'll get through just fine okay and actually you will play an, an integral part in helping push this next chapter of the shift forward i guess push isn't the right word see we got to be careful with human words <laughs> the way that we have things constructed here it doesn't always fit what is happening what's truly happening okay so emotions are running high super moon remember what i said there are going to be these energies in here trying to get us all riled up, putting these stories out there that get us all riled up. And then we have people go, oh, that's not true. When really someone might have actually gone through an experience, but you're trying to deny that. Again, it's all about balancing and listening to your intuition. Okay, you want to talk Archangel Metatron? He's all about intuition. <laughs> all right. So I feel like this is more saying manage your emotions and make sure you're staying calm and not sidestepping. If something, again, it's all about balancing. If you're upset about something, process it. If you uh, feel like someone's just really trying to drag you down into negativity, it might be someone who genuinely needs help and support, but uh, for the most part, some people are just trying to feed off of you. It's just, and it can be subtle. I've had people come up and be like, oh my, I didn't know that if I did this, this, and this, then this would happen. And they're trying to play the victim. Listen to your intuition. If you don't have a good feeling about somebody, move away from them. Okay? Lavender. Connect to body, mind, and soul. The number's 44. 44. Angels. Calm. <laughs> being centered. Don't allow yourselves to get rattled. And this also makes me think of sleep, too. <laughs> Make sure you're getting plenty of good sleep. 
lots of rest because there's going to be a lot of messaging that comes through dreams as well. And we're having, I just got this message too of we need to get into this place, and I'm going to put it in a very human way, of not expecting to be spoon fed everything. So what happened with, um, you know, ethical readings, spiritual readings? Ethical reminds the person, don't, don't just take my word for it, okay? This is how I'm interpreting and reflecting back an energy to you to spark something in there for guidance. Unethical uh, readings would be the ones like, this is going to happen and that's all there is to it and you have no free will and it's just going to happen and you're just stuck. I'm putting it very simplistically, okay? But why was there suddenly a popularity around the more unethical or maybe they're not completely unethical. Maybe that's kind of, that, that would be extreme. Um, some that are just kind of shallow. Why did that suddenly become so popular? Because we took several steps back. Look what happened just on this platform around 2015. All over the place. And anybody who's actually, you know, diving a little bit deeper, kind of, nobody, nobody's taking that on anymore. Because it got exhausting. And I acknowledge that. It got exhausting. I was exhausted. We were all going through like this weird, turbulent, cracking open. And so it was kind of nice to just have someone tune in and, and give, okay, here's what's going to happen. Okay, great. Thank you. And okay, that takes a little heat off of me of having to do some work here. The message here is that is no longer good enough. It's not good enough for us as people who take in messages and it's no longer good enough for anybody who's just keeping it on the surface. We will see this play out. We will see where people are going, oh, whoa, 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 I've been kind of skating along the surface in my spirituality this whole time and now I'm ill-equipped to handle what I'm witnessing. This isn't what I expected. So what I'm saying here is that Unethical readers, I don't stand by you, okay? People who stay on the surface, I'm not saying you're bad. I'm just saying like, you know, people, when you listen to that kind of reading, you just have to be careful about how you're taking it, okay? And I would encourage everyone to start diving deeper. Even if you're listening to a reading like that and it sparks some realization, go do some work with that. Don't just take it at face value. Does that make sense? Am I saying that well enough? Um, so give it a rest here. Give that whole uh, swirling on the surface a rest. And remember too, a lot of that type of reading, again, not bad, but it's going to attract in humans who have a curiosity about what some of us just take for granted. Some of us were just born in with the sensitivity, this empathy, this you know clairvoyance, clairsentience, you know, whatever. And not everybody was. And so those readings can be good to some level because it's kind of like, it gives people a chance to kind of explore it a little bit. But let's be careful on how we're presenting things. You know, reminding people they have free will, reminding people to take whatever that message was that just came up just now and go deeper with it. So I think, hang on here, I'm just gonna get more of the message here. We need to be more careful with one another. I have Metatron in here. Metatron's gonna be, <laughs> Metatron's my buddy right now. <laughs> so Metatron is coming in here and saying, um, in, in the want to help, a lot of people are coming in with their messaging and they're kind of, they show me like kind of jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. So if someone's coming with a desperate energy and they get this jabbing message, not that it's bad, just understand what I'm saying here. You gotta go a little bit deeper beneath like the surface level words and not gonna hit it, okay? They're kind of jabbing people and, they're, and you show me the crystalline structure of us as humans. Something gets snipped. And if you even want to see it as someone gets too codependent on a reader, that's snipping some of their empowerment. Yes, yes, that's the way to say it. Okay, keep going with that. Okay, so in a want to help one another, the intention is good, the approach is bad. <laughs> the approach is not as powerful as it could be. And... Uh, you know, I'll be open to whatever messaging I get. If I need to start switching up how I give messages, you know, I'm, I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to show up in any way that is in the highest good of everyone involved in any way that I can contribute. So anything else on that? 
When you're in your own peace, these things will come naturally to you. You can listen to readings and hit and, and know that this is for you or not for you. And you will be able to pick up what portion of you has been harmed and what portion of you you must bring light to. And in your dreams, you will see timelines crossing. You will see yourself playing out a role. Pay attention to this because this is a lesson that needs to now be completed. Okay, so there's this sense here, especially if you're sensitive, there's going to be a lot, if you wanna see it, information. You know, the Akashic Records, you can, you have the library in you, okay? So you can access that. But really, that's not even the message here because a lot of people are gonna to try too hard and they're gonna trip over their own feet or they use it unethically. Again, we'll get there, we'll talk about all that. So really everything that you need to know will be coming through a dream state or it'll come through um, a sudden realization as you're going on about your day, right? Uh, pay attention to that. So if you get a funny feeling about a situation, look at it, process it, and sit with your intuition. This isn't so that you jump to conclusions so that you can start judging other people. That's part of harming and breaking little, little little pieces of the crystalline code. I know, that's what that's how it's coming through right now. <laughs> Breaking, it, it's, it's not like we're made of glass, but that's sort of the image that I'm getting, where if you know Metatron's cube and all the sacred, the platonic solids that are all contained within Metatron's cube, again, I have more information coming on this, the lines that connect, it's, it's almost like we have that same kind of crystalline structure. And when we pass judgment or we're getting critical, or we're pushing on someone, or we're just getting fearful and we're saying, you have to do it this way. It's like, it sort of breaks one of those lines. It can be repaired, it can be brought back, but we're breaking each other. And when we do that, we're only harming ourselves because that's how the, the Metatron's all about flow, energetic flow. And that is how the energy starts flowing through us. So if we're breaking someone else's flow, now, we, this is where we start seeing people getting violent, God forbid. This is where we see people acting out. Because somewhere along the way, all those structures got broken. Now, you can have souls that they're, uh, they're using, and I've got, <laughs> I've got Metatron here, and I've got some other angels around, that um, interpret or... I'd say that again. I want to say that souls that will come in an interpretation a mimicking of a human and they don't have the beautiful structure that a real human does i see it it's like a jumbled up little ball of lines but there's no sacredness to it it's it's like it's not alive. And I know that's gonna make some of you laugh. You'll be like, zombies. <laughs> but it, it is sort of, you know, a, a jumbled structure and it's chaos. And it's mimicking being human. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that either. It'll make sense soon. It'll make sense soon. So we need to start preserving, repairing, you know, honoring our structure and how that resonates with the structure of the universe and how we're a part of that. And if we break any part of our crystalline structure and don't go to repair it, okay, now, and that's even a very human way of putting it because it makes it sound like we're broken, we need to be fixed. Again, it's just a very human way of understanding this. But if we don't go through that process of preserving that beautiful structure, our flow is interrupted, our flow with the universe is interrupted, and um, it's gonna wreak havoc. Okay, there's a message here too. Don't be using spirituality to just get stuff. And I'm getting a message to pass along here that too many of us get obsessed over our human story that we start 
doing our spiritual practice to manipulate the things in our human story. In some extreme cases, that might be someone manipulating another person. Or this is where we get into that very heady approach to manifestation, where it's coming all from surface level. Again, it's not bad to have like a lovely house and a lovely car if you want one or whatever, but um, if that is the only thing that makes you happy and you're disconnected from your heart space, what do you think is gonna happen to that? You're gonna lose your house, you're gonna lose your car. It's gonna go. It's not anchored, okay? And what's more, you're not actually doing any manifestation that's going to help you manifest something that's gonna bring you peace and harmony and grace and, and all that. Does that make sense? So we're understanding our truer nature, we're understanding our place in the universe, and we're understanding our beauty. If you look at any sacred geometry and you imagine this is what I'm made of, this is my structure too, in a manner of speaking. So this is how energy flows through me. This is how I function. That puts a very different perspective on what's important. Metatron's also all about priorities <laughs> and helping you manage your schedule and manage your time. But when we say manage your schedule, it's not like, okay, Metatron, help me get through all my meetings today and help me run all my errands and da, 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 da. No, Metatron's gonna help you get up and remember to move your body, to feed yourself well, to make sure you're spending time with your kids, connecting with your children, okay? Those are the priorities. There is so much coming through, I cannot even tell you. Um, <laughs> now you hear Metatron say, this is good enough for now. So more to come, I'm here. I'm doing this. This is the work that I've committed to. So <laughs> as it comes through, I'll be making a new content. Um, I just ask for your patience in that because again, I want to craft it so that it, it's containing everything uh, that it needs to contain, but in a beautiful, concise way. And that's about it. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. <laughs>